All right, so here we go. A little preview of all your chips. And <laughs> <laughs> we have. All right. Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get started. All right. And if you have a cup, we're going to get started with our. Sparkling rose. Um, let's see. We're going to pass out the bill for the chips. Okay, so this is sips and chips wine tasting tonight. Um, for those of you who already know me, sorry, I'm going to go through what I normally go through because we have two new friends here tonight. Um, does everybody know each other? We do now. We do now. Did you meet everybody? Yes. Yes? Awesome. <laughs> and then we have Donna on the Zoom chat tonight, right? Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, so my name is Jenna. Hi, Donna. Um, and I am your cause entrepreneur for tonight. So we are going to take you through a wine tasting experience very similar to what it would be like if you went into a Napa Valley vineyard. And we are doing chips paired with wine tonight so sips and chips so everybody has a tasting note sheet that looks like this okay so you're going to keep track of all the wines that you taste tonight because probably by the third one you probably won't remember what it was that you liked or didn't like um so write down the varietal the cause partner that it goes with um the aroma if you want to smell it um the taste of it and then you can give it a thumbs up and thumbs down and then I also give you some recommendations of what you may or may not like based off of the wine that we try, okay? <laughs> All right, so our first wine tonight is gonna be paired with our um, pickle chips, okay? So dill pickle chips and sparkling rosé. So this is what the bottle looks like, okay? The really cool thing about all of our bottles, if you didn't know this yet, is that all the facts are right on the bottle. So you can feel really good about gifting it or maybe purchasing it and using it in a recipe or pairing it with the dinner and you have everything you need to know right on the bottle. Okay, so this is our Vintner um, Sparkling Rosé. We have several different rosés, but this is the Bubbly Rosé. Um, typically, we taste six wines throughout the pairing, but we have a bonus seventh wine tonight. Because <laughs> she wanted to have that little bit of extra. <laughs> um, now, most of the wines that Tara chose tonight are dry. Um, there is one semi-sweet, but they're all drier. So hopefully, hopefully, do you like dry? Okay, good. So Donna, do you like dry wine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. You can just give me a thumbs up if you don't have your microphone. <laughs> okay, awesome. So we picked the right kind. Um, so tonight we'll start with this one. Now, you, when you're tasting the wine, you want to go through the four S's of wine sipping. I, there's usually three, but I like to add a fourth. So it is swirl your glass and then sniff, sip, and then savor. So savor would be um, tasting it with the food. When you're tasting it with the food, it's important that you take a sip of the wine without the food, and then take a sip of the wine once the food is in your mouth over top of the food so that you can really pair it and see what it tastes like, okay? So she's doing it already over there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pause this while I pour, and then when I talk about the wine, I'll put you back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have our sparkling rosé here, and you have your dill pickle chips to pair with your sparkling rosé. Um, this one here, every bottle helps fund healthy meals to end hunger. So our cause partner is Why Hunger. Um, if you weren't sure about this already, every single bottle of One Hope is donated toward a specific nonprofit, and it just so happens that all of our um, sparkling wines go toward uh, hunger. So with every bottle, you are help feeding um, a child. So 
The other cool thing about the bottles is it does have a fact on it. So it actually says one in five children in the US are unsure where their next meal is coming from, um, which is a very sad fact, but this bottle helps to fund um, that. So um, pairing suggestions for our sparkling rosé is our smoked salmon, strawberry salad, lemon popcorn. Like I said, I always wanna have a popcorn and wine pairing. <laughs> Never done it yet. Um, and hammocks and giggling. So there's always gonna be two funny little pairings that go with any of our Vintner collection bottles. So hammocks and giggling are part of that. Okay, rosés make a really nice choice for this time of year. Um, I don't know if anybody's had a frosé before. Anybody ever tried frosé? Mm -hmm. No, you have. At a park. Yeah, at a park. <laughs> yeah, at a park. Oh, okay. Oh, the restaurant? casino. No, the um, restaurant. Oh. restaurant. Oh, I've never been there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes no, sense. No, 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 <laughs> big park. Like the circle. So if you would like to try um, rosé, what you do is you take an ice cube tray. Yes. So you take an ice cube tray and you pour the rosé in there. And you can use any type of rosé. So you could use our sparkling rosé. You could use the California rosé, which last month, if you purchased the special, you might have gotten the California rosé. It's the sweeter of the four rosés that we have. So if you like a sweeter rosé, go with the California. Um, that one is also on low inventory, so you want to stock up on the California rosé. And then we have a Sonoma rosé, which is a drier rosé. So if you like a dry rosé, the Sonoma rosé. It replaced um, the French rosé because we haven't been able to get that because it's international. Okay, so try um, Sonoma rosé if you used to like the French rosé. Rosé, rosé, yeah, rosé. <laughs> and then we have a North Coast sparkling rosé, which is a pricier bottle, um, very delicious. It's dry as well. Um, so those are our four rosés. But basically, you're going to freeze the ice cube trays of um, sparkling rosé or any rosé you pick and then when you take it out it'll be frozen and then you put it in a blender with some limoncello oh, and oh, some simple oh. syrup mm -hmm. and you blend it all together <laughs> and it makes a frosé yeah. okay yeah. so you can decide how sweet you want that by adding more simple syrup or if you're choosing the California rosé over the Sonoma rosé it's obviously going to be a little bit sweeter that way okay so what do we think of pickle chips <laughs> so I, kind of like the I like the pickle chips yeah. yeah. <laughs> but i don't know if i like the combo no but i can and see how somebody would and know. sometimes whatever you're like eating is going to change the flavor of your wine yeah. so if you ever get a wine that you're unsure of look at the tasting notes because they're always going to be on this bottle um this is floral, wild berry, and um, pipe and apple. So if you aren't sure of it, then try to, to kind of match those flavors and you're going to get a different taste in it. Also, if you taste something in different parts of your mouth, so that's why, you know, when I was in Napa and they had you gargle with the wine, that's why, because you're going to get different tastes no matter where you put the wine. It's in your mouth. <laughs> so good. Any kind of chip is good, right? Um, so definitely try some more of our rosés. Um, because we're talking about rosé, I want to tell you about the special this month. So every month we have a different preferred customer special. And this month it's Frenzy Frosé. So it gives you all the ingredients to make a frosé. So when you, and I think the majority of you here are preferred customers. So when you are a preferred customer, you um, get six bottles for 10% off or 12 bottles for 20% off. You get half price shipping, and then you get access to whatever the discount is for that month. And this month is Friends and Frosé. So what that is, is it is a bottle of this. So it's a bottle of our um, Vintner Sparkling Rosé, a bottle of the California Rosé, and then a bottle of our Vintner Pinot Noir. And then it comes with um, an ice cube tray and then also a really cute glass with a straw um, that says uh, roof. I think it says Rosé all day. Okay, so it's like a cute little gift set, but it gives you the ingredients minus the lemoncello <laughs> and the simple syrup to kind of make your frosé and you can test it out with different ones. Um, 
So that's 40% off for that set when you buy at least six bottles this month, okay? Um, so that is a great way to purchase. Also, you get discounts all year. So I know at least, you know, four of you so far have been to several of, <laughs> of our tastings. And, um, you know, you get those discounts all year round. So you get the 10% off of six, 20% off of 12, half price shipping. So right away, if you're already close to that six bottle mark, you basically get your six bottle free by becoming a preferred club member. Um, it does not cost anything to join still. It's still free to join. Um, and then you do get to take your whole purchases from the entire year. When you go log into your account at the end of the year, which would be next August, One Hope will donate 10% of whatever organization you choose in your account back to the organization that you choose. So you're still donating all year round. Um, also around Thanksgiving time, we had the Black Friday sale. Last year it was 40% off of wine. So you get access to that when you are a preferred club member as well. Okay. <laughs> I always like to share all the important things at the beginning because by the time you get to the last line, sometimes people <laughs> don't remember what I'm talking about. Um, all right. So that is our um, sparkling rosé. So I'm going to pause it real quick. Thank you. All right, so our next pairing is going to be the Monterey County Riesling paired with the Cool Ranch Doritos. Yes. So you at home have the Cool Ranch Doritos as well. And this one here is slightly different than the last one we tried simply because it is a black labeled bottle. So our black labeled bottles are our reserve wines. They are also corked. Um, so that is significantly different when you first look at them. Uh, but the Monterey County Riesling, the cause partner for this one is Room to Read. So this one goes towards education, okay? Every bottle helps provide literacy education across the globe. Pairing suggestions for this one are Gouda cheese, which I, do we have? I think we yeah, might we have over there. Yeah. So there's some Gouda cheese over there if you wanna sip it yeah, afterwards. Gouda. Um, Chinese chicken salad, creamy pasta primavera, and sugar cookies go well with this one. Um, tonight we're pairing it with our uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. Okay. And oh, we do have sugar cookies. So after this is all over and you then can go back and taste what you want to taste, yeah, mingle and keep drinking because you have seven bottles to drink. <laughs> Pretty much a bottle per person. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, you can definitely try those different pairings. So um, this one, you're going to get some citrus aroma, peach blossom, kiwi flower, citrus zest, and fresh apricot. Okay, and this one is also made in collaboration with Robert Mondavi Jr. So fun fact, um, we actually stole Mari Coyle from Sterling Vineyard out in Napa. So um, she is very well known and they collaborate together and make a lot of our wine. So that's pretty cool. All right, so um, some other cheeses that go well with this one is uh, Brie, Gouda, Feta, Parm. Who doesn't love cheese mm. and wine? <laughs> you might have, might have had this one. Um, so this one again, you're gonna make sure you wanna swirl, sniff, sip, and then savor your chip, okay? So I'm going to put you on pause while I go pour. Okay, so another fun fact about your Riesling. If any of your recipes call for anything that is like citrusy, um, you can always substitute that ingredient, it, whether it be your food that you're cooking or your cocktails. If it's like an alcohol that has some sort of citrus flavor, um, you can substitute either your Riesling or your Pinot Grigio. So I know a lot of people cook with wine as well. Okay, so fun fact. All right, so the next one we're gonna try is our Chardonnay. So we're gonna pass out the sweet potato chip. And so this is gonna kind of be like your savory pairing. If you think about like, you know, fall time, sweet potatoes, Chardonnay. You're welcome. So you have your sweet potato chips out with your Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. 
Sweet potato chips are always good, like sweet potato fries. Okay. So our Chardonnay isn't typically one that I have a lot of people pick. Um, but I, I think that people that like Chardonnay, this is not your typical Chardonnay. Okay. So typically when I think of Chardonnay, I think of like fluttery, oaky Chardonnay. This is not that at all. This is kind of, I think, a little bit lighter. Um, tasting profile for this one is citrus, vanilla, green apple. Okay. Pairs well with fresh crab, macaroons, adulting, and movie night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so really fun stuff. <laughs> um, this bottle helps fund clinical trials to find the cure for breast cancer. So all of our Chardonnays, no matter which one you pick, um, they help to find the cure for breast cancer. This one is also made in collaboration with Robert Mondavi Jr. Um, so this one here is also screw top. But you can see here, it makes it super easy. You just take anywhere, all right? So I'm gonna um, pause this while I... Isn't it like latest? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So our Chardonnay, um, if you like other Chardonnays, so like I said, this one isn't your typical oaky, buttery Chardonnay. Um, it's a lot lighter than other Chardonnays. Um, but if you do like that buttery, oaky Chardonnay, try the Canaro Chardonnay. Um, there's also another one. Um, the pictures that I sent in the text message, Donna, will have all of these, the same things that you see that I have here available to you. So you can flip through those pages. It's what I put in the text message. It lists all of our wines. Um, so there are def definitely different types of Chardonnays that you can choose. Um, there's the Elway Seven Cellars Chardonnay. There is the Canaro Chardonnay. So there's a couple different ones. And then there is our Vintner, our core California Chardonnay as well. Um, the other ones just happen to be um, more your traditional Chardonnay. It's like that buttery, oaky, vanilla um, flavor. Um, so that you can try. So like our Canaros is apple, caramelized pear, honey, suckle, suckle and toasted vanilla spice. Um, whereas the Elway Chardonnay is crisp, fresh fruit, vanilla, and smooth oak. Okay, so if you want something that is more oaky, try the Elway Chardonnay. Okay. Um, before we go any further with any of the other wines, I just wanted to backtrack a little bit because I know we didn't exactly go over all of the other sweet wine options, and I don't know if anybody likes sweet wine. But if you do, we have a Symphony wine and a Moscato, okay? So both of those are gonna be your sweet white wines, okay? So that's sweeter than your Riesling. If you liked the level of the Riesling, then you will like the Viognier, and it's spelled V-I-O-G-N-I-E-R. So it's Viognier. <laughs> it's kind of fun to sell, spell or say. I can't even, I can't talk. Um, so those are our, kind of our sweeter options. The Symphony and the Moscato are both um, on low inventory and so is the Viognier. So if you like those, grab those and stock up on them because they are, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, now, as far as our sparkling wines, going back to that, uh, we went over the sparkling uh, rosé, but if you like, anybody like a good mimosa? Yeah. Okay. So mimosa wines, you will love the Vintner Sparkling Brut. I love that one. That's a 90-point award-winning brut. It's great. Um, so that can be paired with anything. I know we're moving into the fall season. Um, I do have one copy here of our harvest collection, our catalog here. And in here, they have some really cool recipes. So I would highly recommend taking a look at these. But basically, it shows you how to do a harvest mimosa um, little spread here. So there's a red wine spritzer in here. There's a harvest peach and heirloom tomato caprese. There's an apple cider mimosa. That's my favorite way to have mimosas. You can see here. So apple cider mimosas would be a little bit of brute mixed with a um, splash of, no, it could be a splash or it could be half the glass, whatever you prefer. Um, that will be one of my first drinks for sure. 
So you put the apple cider, and then before I do that, I always like to rim the glass with cinnamon sugar to make an apple cider mimosa, mm -hmm. so that's really good. There's also a really great recipe in here for lemon hummus with pomegranate and feta. Sounds really awesome. Um, but here's the caprese salad. Doesn't that look good? So there's a lot of really cool, this is the um, hummus. Looks really good. So we have all of these recipes and a ton more on our blog. So you can go to One Hope's blog website and you can actually type in like sangria and it lists like, there's like 20 recipes of sangria. It's really cool. Um, this one is the Harvest Mimosa Bar. So this is apple, pear, and peach juices. So that's really cool. Lots of different options there that you can put inside of your mimosas. Um, so this is a great little resource guide, but it's all available on our blog as well. Okay, if you like, yeah, <laughs> my teaching, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I know I'm going to be doing this every day, right? Talking oh, kindergarten, yeah. Talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is my trial for teaching online. Um, and then we also have the flavored um, sparkling wines, which would be the ones we have left are the sparkling pomegranate, which I think many of you have had. And then we have the sparkling citron. The pomegranate is like a semi-dry one. I love the pomegranate around the fall time. Um, and then the citron is actually really good mixed half and half with lemonade. So if you like, um, and we had that, right? It was really good. And we had it with like a spicy shrimp and a guacamole. So you can make that cocktail um, and do half lemonade, half citron, and it makes like a bubbly lemonade. So we just kind of went backwards and went over some of the options. So if I shared anything that you think you might like, make sure you write it down before we try four more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, time to go get the next one. And I will be back. All right, so our next bottle that we're gonna be tasting tonight is our One Hope Vintner Sauvignon Blanc. So there's the Sauvignon Blanc. Before I share it, I wanted to just show you, Donna, um, how easy it is to, oops, that's backwards, um, to, to see the tasting notes on the bottle. So you can kind of see there's everything that you ever wanted to know about okay. the bottle all on the bottle, okay? So when you get your, <laughs> with you, you'll see all the fun facts on here. Um, now, this pairing, I, I, when, you, when I read the tasting profile, you'll kind of see why the lime, because the tasting profile is guava, lemon, and lime. So it's going to bring out those flavors in the wine. So you're pairing this with your guacamole and your lime, hint of lime tortilla chips for our Sauvignon Blanc, okay? Um, so again, we have our screw top here. Um, this one helps plant trees. So the cause partner is Trees for Trees. Every bottle helps plant a tree to save our environment. Um, pairs well with oysters, lemon pie, chili lime popcorn. Yeah. Um, summertime and flip flops. Okay. Now we did make a sangria at Lynn's house with this one. Right, mm -hmm. and we put Grand Marnier, raspberries, lime, orange, peaches, apples, and orange juice in it. So if this is something that, if any of our wines are ever something that is too dry for you, know that we have a list of several sangrias that you can turn any drier wine into something sweet. So there's really the possibilities are endless with this. Um, also cranberry, goat cheese, green apples, all go well. I think that's what we tasted with it, didn't we? Yeah. The cranberry goat cheese. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go pour this. Remember to swirl, sniff, and sip. All right. So hopefully you like your hint of lime chips with your guac and your Sauvignon Blanc. Um, some other great Sauvignon Blancs. We have a um, a State Eight Sauvignon Blanc. It's one of my favorite wines. It's our Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. Um, that one is made directly on our vineyard in Rutherford, um, Napa Valley. So you'll see when you see the bottle, it has a different label. It's corked and it's made on a certain block of the vineyard, which means that it's a reserve because they don't make as high of a quantity of grapes. Um, we also have one of my favorite wines is the Fumé Blanc. It means white smoke in French. 
Mm -hmm. um, that is also made on the vineyard. It's a, vi a different varietal of our um, Sauvignon Blanc grape. So that would be in your featured wine list under reserves. Um, it is, like I said, one of my favorite wines. It's jasmine flower, vanilla toffee, mango, lemongrass, and kiwi. And then our Estate 8 Sauvignon Blanc is white, peach, green, apple, citrus zest, papaya, and guava. Okay, so one of them is made on block three and the other one's made on block four. Um, we do have a vineyard in uh, Rutherford County, um, Napa Valley, and it is set to open in the fall. Whether that will happen, I don't know. Um, but One Hope actually started in retail about 10 years ago. So they're relatively new to, to doing this. Um, but they started with a group of friends who wanted to give back to different nonprofits. So they um, partnered with Robert Mondavi Jr. They made 168 cases of wine, and then they went into homes very similar to what I'm doing, and they um, partnered with different nonprofits to give back, um, bringing the Napa Valley tasting experience to homes. So that's where they started, and now we have over 5,000 college entrepreneurs that are like myself who go into people's homes um, and raise money for different nonprofits, okay? So we're gonna move on to our last of our whites and then we're gonna have two reds. Um, <laughs> so this one is one of my personal favorites. I think Mandy, you love this one too, right? Can I read you? So this is one of my favorites for um, the summertime. This is our Vintner Pinot Grigio. Um, so let's see the bottle right there, Vintner Pinot Grigio. And there it is. And um, this one here is juicy white nectarine, crisp acidity, dry, um, pairs well with lemon chicken, key lime pie, um, mimosa popcorn, which would be delicious, and faded blue jeans, okay? Um, every bottle of our uh, One Hope Pinot Grigio funds a pet adoption. So the cause partner is ASPCA. Um, it's the same for our Vintner Pinot Noir. So our Vintner Pinot Noir also goes back to ASPCA. Um, some people choose to purchase by the cause and then some people choose to purchase by the varietal. So that's a great way to kind of gift a bottle too. Um, but this one here, uh, it says it's estimated only 50% of animals in shelters will find homes. Um, so this is a bottle that a lot of people get in our Pinot for Paws gift box. So we do have several gift boxes that also give back as well. So um, you can choose Pinot Grigio or Pinot for Paws, um, the Pinot Noir, and it comes with animal toys, um, dog toys or cat toys. And so you can gift that box as well, okay? Um, so this is gonna be your dry, your dry white. Very crisp. Um, this one is going to be paired with our sour cream and onion chips. One of my personal favorites. Okay. Welcome. Hey. All right, so sour cream and onion chips for this one right here. Um, you're gonna get some tropical fruit flavor notes in this one. Again, like I said before, um, if you are cooking with the wine, very similar to like what I said with the Riesling, anything that um, is like a mineral or stone fruit or kiwi, anything that is like a citrus note to it, you can substitute this in your cocktails. Um, I know somebody who loves making shrimp scampi with their Pinot Grigio. What's, what's that saying that you cook with your wine and drink it too, or you cook one you do more than the other? Yeah, it's that. So you can cook and um, drink with this one as well. All right, so enjoy. Okay, so our next one is going to be paired with, it's our red blend. Oh. <laughs> um, our red blend, and it's paired with the uh, chocolate-covered potato chips and the barbecue potato chips. Okay, so this one is like one of the best selling wines that we have. All right, so this one right here is our California Red Blend. Okay, 
So I put you on pause for a little bit because the ladies here were raving about the red one because they've had it so much. So <laughs> they were talking about it. Um, so our California red blend is our highest grade wine we have. So we have about, um, I want to say it's now up to eight. So we have eight uh, award-winning wines, okay? And when you go into a liquor store, you'll see that different wines have been rated and they've been given point values. So it's out of 100 points. Um, this one is 96. So it's really, really high, um, highly rated. This one goes towards veterans. So Team Rubicon is the cause partner for this particular wine. Every bottle helps reunite veterans with a sense of purpose through disaster relief. Um, this one, in my opinion, is like your perfect pizza, pasta, barbecue type wine. It's your good like house red wine. Um, I know that pretty much everyone has that standard go-to wine that you just pick up at the, at the liquor store. Um, so make one hope your house wine and, and this would be your house red <laughs> okay because this one gives back you can't say that about your liquor store wine it does not give back um partner uh it pairs well with uh grilled bacon burgers berry pie maple bacon popcorn maple bacon popcorn that would be delicious <laughs> and um the funny pairing for this one would be shooting stars okay um, we did make this at Lynn's house into a spritzer. So what you do to make that is you take um, LaCroix or any kind of like berry sparkling water and you do a two to one ratio. So you, well, I don't think we did two to one. I think it was more half and half or was it? Was it the two to one? It was probably before that that was like basically half and half. So depending on how strong you want it, it would be two parts of the berry sparkling water to one part of your red blend, and then you take a frozen bag of mixed berries and you put it inside the pitcher, and it makes a red um, blend spritzer, okay? So our red blend is a, um, a blend of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Zinfandel, okay? So three of my favorite varietals of grapes makes this particular blend. Um, any of your nuttier cheeses would go better with this one. Um, I would say that this is a good one to have with brownies. Typically when it's not a chip party, this is my first chip party, um, I usually tell the hostess to get brownies for this one. So there is like a magical experience that takes place between <laughs> the brownie and red <laughs> Um And especially like if, so if you ever, if you get this, bake yourself a warm batch of, of brownies. And then what you want to do is those four S's. So you want to swirl, sniff, sip on the first try. And then your second sip, you'll put the brownie in your mouth and drink over top of the brownie. And the combination of the two, um, it even says in my tasting notes, it's full of depth and richness, like a dense chocolate cake. Okay, so that's what it tastes like, dense chocolate cake. Um, so it does have that little bit of cocoa aroma to it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this. But try it with both the barbecue chip and the chocolate covered chip. I don't think it matters which one. I maybe would do the barbecue first and then the chocolate. I don't know. Or try vice versa. All right. So give that one a try. So Donna, what did you think about that chocolate covered chip? It was good. My husband had a piece too. <laughs> They're amazing. What's that? Where can we buy this? <laughs> um, she said, where did you buy it? Philadelphia Chocolate Company. Philadelphia Chocolate Company. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Asher's make them too. But she couldn't find that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, so any kind of chocolate's gonna go with your, with your uh, red blend. It's really delicious. Um, and then the barbecue chip obviously brings it on the barbecue flavor that we talked about that's perfect pairing with barbecue. So that's why that's paired together. Um, now, if you like other reds that are in that category, uh, one little tool that you have at your disposal is, I texted it to you as well, Donna. Um, this is the wine tasting profile. Okay. So if there is a particular type of wine that you would say that you would put yourself in, um, like let's say that you like light and dry whites and rosés. It says the Canaris Reserve Chardonnay, the Estate 8 Sauvignon Blanc, the Vintner Pinot Grigio. 
would all be good choices. Um, the Vintner red blend that you just tried, that's considered a medium bodied and fruity red wine. So that's not gonna be as dry as the cab that we're about ready to try. Um, so another wine that you might like would be the Vintner Pinot Noir. So if you like our Vintner red blend, try the Vintner Pinot Noir. That also goes towards ASPCA or try the Vintner Merlot, which goes towards heart health. Um, another chip pairing that you might like, and I know I personally <laughs> would love this one if you like Pinot Noir, um, truffle chips. So apparently, I've never had a truffle chip, but apparently truffle chi chips or like a truffle pizza. Yeah, truffle french fries. Yeah, like yeah. Yes, those are the best. <laughs> those are so good. Um, sexy fries. <laughs> as my as anyone's gonna be watching this, they're gonna be like, what? <laughs> um, they're good. They're like, what? What is it? Like a cheese fry? And it has like truffle oil and Parmesan oh, cheese. It's like a hollandaise. Yeah. yeah. So that would pair perfectly with our Vintner Pinot Noir as well. Yeah, they're the best. Um, so any of those would work. The other one in the medium bodied and fruity red category would be the Edna Valley Pinot Noir, which is my personal favorite reserve wine. Um, definitely give that one a try. Love that one. This is the best. It is, I, I have one bottle saved for every uh, month I've been pregnant. So I ordered myself. <laughs> so that one is awesome. Okay, so then the last wine that we're gonna try today is our Vintner um, Cabernet Sauvignon. So the last one that you have, it looks like this. Okay. Now, something special about this bottle is that it was just received our um, another award. So um, our Vintner Cab just scored 93 points. Okay. So this was just added to our um, list of wines that are award winning. And we are trying this tonight with Cheetos and regular Doritos. So anything that's cheesy <laughs> will work well, okay? Um, and it's funny because it pairs well typically with like an aged cheese, a Gouda, a cheddar. So that's where you're getting the um, Cheetos and Doritos from, okay? Um, this one here you can also make into a blackberry orange pomegranate sangria. So this is one way you can take one of our drier category wines. It's Grand Marnier, orange juice, pomegranate juice, simple syrup, um, OJ, apples, and blackberries to make that sangria. And that's available on our blog as well. Um, now this one here goes towards the cause that we're actually raising money for tonight. So our cause tonight is Autism, Autism Cares Today, okay? And that actually is the cause partner that goes toward um, this particular bottle, the cab. Um, so every bottle here helps fund ABA therapy for children with autism, which is very important. Um, timely and intensive ABA therapy has an 80 to 90% chance of showing significant improvement in children with autism. Um, so that's why this bottle, what this bottle supports. Uh, tasting profile for this one is black cherry, chocolate, and vanilla. It pairs well with beef filet, baklava, new haircuts, and charades. So I am personally waiting until I can drink the cab in order to get a haircut, and then I can open my bottle cab and celebrate. Um, oh, also um, pairs well with rosemary popcorn. So if anybody wants to do a popcorn and wine pairing, that's on my list of things I'd like to try. Um, this bottle here is going to be um, like a, a full of like a um, dark berry and toffee with a little bit of vanilla. Um, I know our in-home, in-house chef at the vineyard, Dan, he likes to go live on our community page and do recipes and wine pairings live from the test kitchen. And he does cookies and cab. So I believe some of you have seen that recipe that I've posted before. It's a chocolate chip cookie, but then it has bits of toffee in it, like the little mm. toffee bits, which is what pairs well with this one. And then the little mini peanut butter cups and chocolate chips. 
Okay, so if you're looking for a candy to pair with this one, peanut butter cups, Hershey Kisses. Personally, I love any dark chocolate. There you go. We have a big bag of Reese's on the table. So. We are going to pass them out. It's just kind of in the center of your table. As soon as you finish dinner, you just grab a Reese's apparently here. Um, <laughs> so you can taste the difference between your Cheetos, your Doritos, and your peanut butter cup. <laughs> See which one you like the best. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go floor this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that one is your full-bodied red. All right, so there are some great reserve cabs out there. Um, personally, the Vintner cab that you're trying right now is my husband's personal favorite. He orders this one by the case. He loves our Vintner cab. I love it too. I think it's really smooth. It's delicious. Um, one of my other favorite cabs is the Reserve Paso Robles cab. I love that one. It's so good. And then also um, the Napa Valley Reserve cab, if you're looking for something even a little bit more elevated. Um, there is a slight difference between our reserves and our Vintner collection. The reserves, I would say, a lot of them are more blended, the grapes. They're more, um, they come from the blocks that are more harder to get, where the grapes aren't, there's not as many grown. Um, and they have more elevated pairing suggestions. You'll, you'll, if you ever read some of the pairing suggestions for them, they're just a little bit slightly more elevated. Um, we have bottles that are ranging from anywhere from 20 to 125. So you can go anywhere in between, okay? The one that I did not bring because I was packing and I forgot to take out of the box would be our um, shimmer or our glitter bottles. I know that some of you have seen our shimmer and glitter bottles before. Um, Donna, for you here, you can kind of see they're shimmery, oh, okay. glittery. Okay, so they come in gold or silver. And you can get the shimmer bottles, which are more painted on. And then you can get the glitter bottles, which are actual real glitter. Okay, with the glitter, you just want to take the wrapper down to the neck of the bottle. The one thing that came out that's really cool that you guys have not had experience with is the etched shimmer bottles. So if you are a corporate company and you want um, a full case of shimmer bottles with a logo on it, you can do that as a case where it's a custom logo. So think like if you are, you know, if you are somebody who needs corporate gifts um, that you're planning now, you could do something like that. But then we also just released August 1st an etched shimmer bottle. And we have four different designs. One of them is a close to home one. And that one is like, you know, for realtors or anyone maybe who has a new home, there's a happy birthday one. So it has the message, happy birthday on it. Cheers to you. Then there's a cheers to you one. And I forget the fourth one. So I'm going to quickly show you the picture of them. And it's, it's really cool because you have them already designed. And then the nice part about our etched shimmer bottles is that you can actually get them mix and match in any case that you want. So I know personally, I just had a friend who has a birthday Thursday. So I sent her a single bottle of the happy birthday shimmer for her birthday. So think about, you know, any holidays or any birthdays that you might've missed, anniversaries. Um, all of those are great reasons to have a personalized shimmer bottle. Well, here they are, okay? So you can kind of see them right there. Oh, Hopefully cool. you can see them. Yeah. So it's just different, four different options. And you can get any of them added. One of them says sunshine. Um, the other one says happy birthday, home, sweet home, and cheers to you. Nice. Are they new? They're new, yeah. They, are, so, they, only come in silver? they only come in silver. Those are neat. Aren't they fun? Yeah. So the cool thing about these is that you used to have to get all of your um, etched shimmer bottles in a full case, like if you're doing a custom logo. With these, you can put inside any mix and match case. So if you need a gift, you can add one of these to your order, and you can purchase it in single bottles. Mm -hmm. I really think so.
So it's a great reason to get some of these gifts. Um, and they come so nicely packaged too. Like if you're sending them specifically to one person, then you would do that as a separate order. Um, the one that I just ordered my friend, it'll come in its own gift box with like shredded paper and they wrap them really, really nice. Um, so that is one example um, that you can get. Um, this is an example of our Friends in Froze pack. So there you can see the three bottles oh, nice. and the ice cube tray and the, the glass that says Rose all day. And I think I posted this on the site. So you can get those three bottles plus the uh, glass and the ice cube tray for 40% off. And then it's like a really nice little gift set that can split up, you know, the gift um, all together. So we have all different types of gift sets that are available now. It's a great way to purchase for corporate gifting or just for any type of gift. All right, so those are our specials. Remember, you want to think about um, what we are raising money for today. So remember, again, with One Hope, we mix and mingle and we make an impact. We build a case for a cause. That's what we're doing. And 10% um, goes back to the nonprofit that our hostess chose, which was Autism Cares Today. So thanks, Kara. And then we also double donate. So it goes also to the uh, cause that the bottle has as well. Okay. Now, if it's something that you, if you like this whole thing, you love getting free wine, um, you can join us for $29 now. So that's the other opportunity we have. That is the cheapest way to get your wine um, by doing what I do. And a lot of people just do it for the discount themselves. <laughs> um, but I now have 100 team members in a span of like four months who joined my team. And I have people on my team who do it just for the discount. And then I have people who want to stay at home and replace their income. Um, so you can sell wine. You can earn trips. Um, I just earned a trip to Mexico that I couldn't go on. I was canceled and I just earned a trip to Napa because I promoted to director. Um, but they canceled that as well. <laughs> so, now, um, so now I will visit the vineyard at some point, but now I get to because they canceled it. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And then you can also purchase wine through a subscription. So besides our preferred customer program, you get all the benefits of that, plus you get free shipping. So if you want to decide to subscribe to Wine, it's actually kind of like a um, Amazon Prime membership of Wine. So you get all the benefits of being a per customer, the 10% off six, the 20% off the 12 bottles, the half price shipping, but then you get free shipping for your um, subscription. So you decide if you want your wine shipped every one, two, three, or four months. And you can go into your account and change the wine that comes to you in that quantity. And you can always order in between, but it just guarantees you that free shipping. Okay. And then we also have Mari's, our winemakers, um, wine club. So that is usually six bottles that comes to you four times a year. And it's a mixture that she provides. So usually there's four out of six of those bottles in this quarter's harvest membership that it are reserves. For 20% off of the six bottles, and then you get free shipping. And one of the bottles is our North Coast Reserve um, Zinfandel, which is only available as a wine club member. Okay, so there's comes with this really cute little pamphlet. It's basically like your own little wine tasting guide, but you have to be adventurous and try new wines um, to do that. So if you're somebody like me who loves trying new wines, that's a good, that's our one of our better deals for wine. Okay. So I have different order forms um, on the table. So I have been taking orders right on my phone. So the order forms are in the center of the table. Um, you can use those to write down your order and then I'll just put your order in right on my phone, okay? If you are mixing and matching a case, you can go in with people. You all know how that works. Um, you can use your preferred club membership, but this is a great month because it's still free to do the preferred club membership. Okay, so does anybody have any questions? Do you have any questions, Donna? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? no? Okay, awesome. So I gave you all of the ordering information in the, in the text message. So okay. you'll see um, 
you'll see all of this paper, like everything that the ladies have here, you have in the text message. Okay, so great. you'll see the this one, you'll see all the wines. If you have a question about ordering, the link is right there that you can order directly online. Okay. Or if you want to text me, I can put the order in for you, whatever works for you. Okay, that's great. All right, I'm gonna say bye. Hey guys, have a good night. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you have later. Bye. See ya.